Guys, we are actually playing Fortnite console on our iPhone. This is insane. Yo, what is going on guys? Grant the Goat here back with another video. And in today's video, guys, I am showing you how you can play any console game on your phone using a controller so in this case you don't have to use on a lot of videos people show that there's a controller on your actual phone but now in this case you can actually use your controller as you can see here so if you'd like to know how to do this slap that like button also subscribe turn on those post notifications so you stay tuned for every live stream that I do and yeah let's get right into the tutorial so first I want to go over the requirements for this to actually happen for you so basically what you're gonna need is a smartphone in this case I have an iPhone 8 and after that you need obviously a PS4 and I have my controller right here uh, I would recommend using two controllers uh, I'll explain why uh, in later in the video but if you have two controllers basically you can um, bring your phone wherever you want in your house rather than having it plugged in your PC and yeah like I said I'll explain more later in the video. so next up obviously in the title I said a PC or computer is required that can be a laptop that can be a PC which I have right here next to me that is kind of in the frame um, but yeah that's pretty much all you need you need just your PS4 your phone and your computer all right guys so now we're gonna go over what you need first um, a software that you're gonna have to download on your computer like I said you need a computer so if you don't have one it won't work for you uh, let me know down in the comments if you do have any other ways I'd like to know them because I can definitely make a tutorial on them and shout you out if it does actually work but for people that do have a computer this method is going to work so first what you're gonna want to download is ps4 remote play so now searching this up you can see that there is remote play that DL that PlayStation yeah so basically I'll link this down in the description so you don't have to like go through all this but once you search this up you can go ahead and download it for Windows PC and it's through the Sony Sony website so don't worry guys you won't get any virus or anything like that it is confirmed through the Sony website so as you can see right here we got Windows PC um, or Mac so you can do it on Mac or Windows PC uh, in my case, I have a Windows PC, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows PC. So after clicking it, it will download right down here as an installer. And you can go ahead and open it, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty easy installation. And you can just go through it, and it will basically install everything. So I'm just going to kind of cancel this out because I already have it. So once you get through this, uh, let's move on to the next step. So guys, the next thing you're going to want to download is Splashtop. So Splashtop is a software where you can basically remote your iPhone or iPad screen um, to your computer. So your computer screen will be on your iPhone or iPad. Uh, that's how I'll rephrase it. So once you head over to Splashtop, you want to have it over to Downloads, which is in the top right corner. And now at, uh, you can see right here, Splashtop Streamer. So Splashtop Streamer, like I said, is going to stream your computer screen to your iPhone. You can go ahead and download Mac or Windows. And like I said, in my case, I have a Windows. So I'm going to download the Windows, uh, go through the installation process, and then I'll be done from there. Alright guys, so this is the software that you're going to want to open up, and it's for Splashtop. So basically, all you have to do is configure it and go through the installation process, and you'll get to this software. So after getting to the software, you're going to want to sign in on your iPhone. So I'll explain that right here. So guys, when you're on your iPhone right here, after downloading it, you want to download it on your iPhone and your uh, Windows. So after downloading the Splashtop app, you open it up, and basically you can see me right there. Sorry if it's really bad quality, it's just hard to... Hard to see with the brightness and everything so I'll tone it down a little bit there you can see it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my computer here so this is the screen you'll see that's my desktop right there you'll see it after refreshing you can click the refresh button if you don't see it they need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi and they also need to be connected to the same account it'll prompt you to sign in on both so just create an account and uh, verify it through any email and yeah as you can see here we'll go ahead and click on it uh, the button with the pen up here it's very blurry but the button with the pen right here and then you can select all the different things you want to use so this is this is resolution you guys really don't need to see it because it's hard to see but basically you just use your computer's nav native display because it looks the best on your uh, on your iPhone or iPad so then I click on my desktop and here we go 
just let it load. And there we go. So it's gonna go through like some gestures that we can uh, use. But as you can see, it's right up there. So I can also turn it when my auto lock is not on. And boom, so that is my PC with my Streamlabs. And uh, as of right now, it's pretty cool. So I have this uh, uh, remotely playing to this and streaming it. So let's move on to the next step. All right guys, so after doing that, you're gonna wanna open PS4 Remote Play. And it's gonna check for some updates, but we already downloaded it, so you're good to go. Now, you just wanna go through the tutorial that it says, it says pair the controller with a wireless adapter. So in this case now, I'm gonna take this adapter that I have that plugs into my PS4 controller, and I'm gonna take this right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it straight into my computer with my PS4 controller. So, so after doing that, what you can do is you can click Start, and it'll start searching for your ps4 so i'll be back when it's done searching one more quick thing you guys uh your ps4 and your uh, computer have to be on the same wi-fi if they're both on an ethernet you can actually uh, keep it on an ethernet and change it so it's connected to a wi-fi that's local in your house so yeah so here you go, it popped up right here. It looks really bad, like really bad quality right now. And you can change the quality, but it might lag it a little bit. So you wanna keep it at this quality because on your iPhone, it really looks like it's 1920 by 1080 because you really can't see the pixels that are just blurry and everything like that. So once you have this connected now and you have your phone connected, as you can see right here, you have your phone with your PS4 on it. So yeah, that's not all guys, but I'll explain it. Uh, what to do next in a second. So next you can full screen it and after full screening it, it'll be full screen on your iPhone and let's switch over to uh, me playing some games. So guys, as you can see, it's there's pretty much no delay as you can see right here, it's moving left and right as I move my joystick. This is just proof that it is working. So it's just moving normally like this. And it's actually really awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and click play right here. All right guys, so it is in fact loaded up and here we can play Fortnite on our phones. It is so cool, dude. It is so cool. It's everything like that. There might be a little glitch um, on the screen. And yeah, it's pretty much so cool. You can just do everything. And it's basically Fortnite on your phone or your iPad. It's so cool. I'm so happy to be able to do this because I might bring my phone outside, start playing. Uh, that'd be kind of fun. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much it. And yeah. Let's move on to how to play it wirelessly. Hey guys, if you want to play this wirelessly, what you're gonna need is two controllers. So we're gonna go ahead and basically take this controller right here this is the mic i'm using right now so it's going to be hard to hear me sometimes so i might boost it up right here um so yeah basically this is your controller that's plugged in right here it might be hard to see and this is your controller that's plugged in right now so now what you're going to want to do is after plugging that in you want to sign in on a separate account on ps4 with this controller on a, a not on your main account so then you can go ahead and use this controller right here that your extra controller and with your extra controller you can basically sign in and uh, yeah after signing in with this um, as you can see after clicking the ps4 button it needs to be connected to your actual ps4 not to your uh, PC like this one that's connected to your PC so make sure this is still connected to your like PS4 and it's still configured with your PS4 rather than any other device turn this on and yeah that's pretty much it uh, sign into your main account and you're done all right guys so i actually died while i was actually recording that so sadly i did but that's it right there guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did and this tutorial helped you out playing on your iphone and your ipad um basically i would like you to subscribe to this channel also hit that like button and turn on the post notifications for almost daily streams that'll be it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace